Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we're over here on the Japanese side of the game, as you guys can see, for the new treasure map, Moria. With the release of Croc, Luchi, and Enel, has come the release of the new treasure map, Moria. And in today's video, we have the 7.5... Oh, 7.5th? 7.5th? 70.5th? The 7.5 anniversary... And we do have the treasure map. We are hopping into the new world, obviously. Like, we're not settling for anything less. We do have all the point boosters. And in today's video, we will be showcasing those teams that I put together for you guys in the prep video. Now, I am going to slap sound back on because I turned it off because I was driving, I think. And I had music going and it was playing in the background. And it was very, very annoying. So, give me one second while I do that. Alright, so we're back. And we do have some sound now, which is good. Uh, not nothing too crazy in terms of the sound, but um, enough so that we can actually like enjoy a little bit of the game. So we're just gonna fly through the middle of the map here with the um, treasure map. If you guys are global players and you are watching this video, you guys will have noticed that the map has changed on global. The problem with the map changing on global is the stages haven't changed. The stages on Japan are three stages, and you get cooldowns for particular units on the very beginning so it makes team building a little bit easier the maps are a little bit more straightforward you can complete these maps very very quickly on japan and obviously going through the middle is going to be the way forward there is no rock just like you uh you global players know uh there is no rock anymore so you don't have to see that annoying cut in where it breaks the rock every single time and yeah so the first stage is against well the intrusion is against moria now the recommended unit is croc but I have seen a lot of people using the Robin, the treasure map Robin, as a free-to-play leader. That is going to be a really good option for you guys if you are missing something like the Croc. Um, you can always bring a friend Croc. That's going to give you the most points. The Intrusion and the final stage are the stages where you want to bring your highest point boosters. That way you can just maximize your point growth. For this particular Intrusion, I think it's Cerebral Powerhouse Striker characters get their cooldowns. I'm pretty sure. I know it's Cerebrals. I'm 100% certain of Cerebrals. So you do want to try and build a Cerebral-based team. And that's where utilizing Croc comes into play. Like I said, this Robin, the Treasure Map Robin, is another really, really good option for a Captain uh, as you get Cerebral characters cooldown. Uh, once you do get the uh, Moria, or maybe it's pa yeah, Powerhouse is in there somewhere. Once you do get the Moria, I would highly recommend putting the Moria on this team over the uh, Mihawk. He's not going to get as massive buff as in terms of the Captain of Croc, but you are going to get a lot more points. We do get Quick Orbs matching because we are using Luchi on this particular team. There is five turns of defense up here, so that's where the special of the, um, what's his name comes into play. The, oh, what's his face? Uh, Mihawk, with the Mihawk special comes into play. Mihawk's really, really nice because he can remove the five turns of defense up. He's also going to give us chain lock, but with Croc, like, we're just going to use Croc, right? But we do cop five turns of burn there, and as you guys know with me and burn, just hit greats, and you're absolutely fine. Like, burn is like, to me... One of the dumbest mechanics. Like, when it, like, hits you, it can hit you hard. But otherwise, it's just kind of whatever. On the final stage against Mori, he has five turns of damage reduction. He binds our captains and gives us a full board of quick orbs once again. You just want to bring someone that can remove blind. As I mentioned in my playthrough video, sorry, in my um, prep video, you could use something like the Beast Pirates Luffy and then bring, like, the Ace support. That should work absolutely fine. As long as you can just get away around three turns of blind, you are going to be fine as long as it's not your captain. So... There you guys go. Pretty so straightforward. Nothing too drastic for this particular, that particular stage. Uh, burn, not the end of the world. The free-to-play Mihawk, Arena Mihawk, everyone should have him. Or the Moria that is literally this particular treasure map. Get, bring him. Uh, and then someone to remove blind. Whether that's some supports. Two supports should do the trick for two turns. Or just bringing someone that can remove blind. I think the um, buggy. Is the buggy um, boosted for this treasure map? The, um, the buggy pirates. I think they might be boosted. That'll do four turns for you. Or I think Caesar. It's a Caesar remove blind. There's got to be. There's got to be a way around the blind. Like just like I said, just bring someone to remove blind. You guys will be fine. You guys will be fine. Let's keep on moving. Uh, I'm actually just gonna fly through the middle. That's the upside to this map. Um, is we can actually get through this really quick. We do miss out on like the Bento. We do miss out on some of those like rewards around there. But honestly, like just going through the middle is so much quicker. If we could get something that's not a one though. This is actually what I've been noticing with this new like treasure map update on Japan. I've been getting a lot of ones, a lot of twos, and a lot of low numbers. I think the quickest I've gone through the map is in 24 stamina. This one was pretty quick. Like if we if we managed to get the Luffy here, yeah, cool. This only took us 36 stamina. So six rolls of the dice, and we made it to the end. Not bad, not bad. So the first fight is against Chopper and Frankie. This is stereotypically the easiest fight. Normally, I think the recommended characters are like Luffy and then two of those free Straw Hats. 
Um, I like to bring Sanji for this particular fight, mainly because I don't use Sanji for literally anything else in the game. Like, there is no other place in the game where I actually use this Sanji. So I figured, you know what? He's a treasure map legend. Like, he's got to have some sort of purpose for my account. So let's use him in goddamn treasure map, right? He does auto-trigger his special on turn one. And with a friend, obviously, you get the double auto-trigger. So it's very easy to tap through these stages very, very quickly. Stage one, you get five turns of cooldown for your entire crew. And uh, literally just by, like, the, the best part is, is just, like, just doing this, like, super quick tap. Like, that's the best thing about Sanji. Like, you just do that super quick tap. Uh, once we get to the final stage, uh, we do cop a full board of block orbs, I'm pretty sure. We get special binded on our um, middle and bottom row. Um, but I feel like if you just use the double Sanji special once again, like, you should be fine for a while. Yeah, you should be fine for a while. No issues there whatsoever. You could easily bring in a wave clearer on that particular team. I might look at in implementing a wave clearer. Uh, and then just sort of like hanging on to those rainbow slots. And then you don't even have to worry about the block slots. Uh, I feel like if you hit with the Shiroshi, you would do a lot of damage. Maybe just keep a slot. Like keep a rainbow slot on one of your Sanjis. And um, just, just literally tap with that Sanji. And that should do a lot of damage. Even though it's only a 2 times orb and a 2 times attack boost. Absolute bum. Honestly, that's that Sanji sucks. If you like that Sanji... Please let me know in the comment section below, and please give me your reasoning for liking that Sanji. I'm not criticizing your opinion on the Sanji. I'm just saying he's dookie. That's what I'm saying. Moving on to the next fight. Again, the Wedding Cake, or the, the Nami that's um, from Thriller Bark. She is a Psy unit. A Psy unit. And uh, Cerebral characters, Free Spirit characters, and... No, not Free Spirits. Cerebral's fighters and something else get cooldown. The Jinbei is not actually going to get cooldowns on this particular fight. Uh, but that's absolutely fine, because he's a 1.25 booster. Now, as I mentioned in the playthrough video, if you guys don't have Perona, understandably so, she's quite a new legend, and her banner was not desirable to summon on at all, just use Pudding. Pudding is another really good option. Um, Pudding's actually a phenomenal option. Pudding's great, because she's a really, really good Int and Psy Captain. You can use that uh, free-to-play Caesar. He's the um, Arena Caesar, I want to say. Arena Caesar. I, I thought he had double special activation, but I might have been uh, tripping when I thought that. Nope, yeah, he does have triple, double special activation. Once we get to the final stage, we can use the Perona special, getting around the block orbs. You also have the ability to use the um, Pudding special to get around the block orbs too. The uh, Beast Pirate Luffy is really good here because he can remove the attack down, but the recommended character is that free-to-play Croc. So if you want to use that free-to-play Croc, you definitely can. Um, he can get around the attack down. He gives color affinity as well, which is great. And, uh, as you can see, like, this stage is going to have no issues whatsoever. We can apply the negative effects for 10 turns with Perona. So when, uh, Nami revives, we still have the chain lock. We cop the damage, like, the 50% HP cut. But you can use the pudding special here. And what the pudding special... Okay, we cop a lot of damage there. What the pudding special do is just give you back whatever buff you stockpile. Whether you're using Croc, whether you're using Luffy, just stockpile either the color affinity or the attack boost. And as you can see, Hunky Dory Bob's your uncle. See you later. Goodbye. To, uh, good old Nami. Bring a friend Perona if you can. Like, Perona's really good because you get the three turns of chain lock. And that negative effect. That negative effect's actually, like, quite useful here. Normally, the ten turns is only useful if you, like, have a way of, like, the enemy reviving or something like that. So, um, the, the fact that Nami revives here, Perona's just, like, your girl. She's the, she's the girl you want to go for. So, um, shout out to Perona. Finally, like, having, like, a really good use. Like, a really, really good use. But, that was Nami. Cool, good stuff. We're getting a lot of points here. We're moving. On to Usopp and Robin now. Usopp and Robin. Uh, the recommended characters for this were uh, Dofi, Cracker, and um, the Caesar, the new rare recruit Caesar. Uh, I think we sort of came to the conclusion that the Cracker does absolutely bumfuck nothing. So you can easily replace that Cracker. Like, don't even worry about him. And I think I said in my playthrough video, you can actually use the support of the Sweet 3 on Olin. Because they're special mind in this content, um, Olin's actually really, really good to actually get around that. The thing about uh, using Caesar as well is you can trigger the super typing of super class of Dofi, I should say. And that way you can actually do these types of shenanigans where um, you can just wave clear with his super class. You get driven, powerhouse, and um, something else in terms of your cooldowns. So just using this Dofi is literally just wave clearing shenanigans. If you don't have Dofi, you can bring something like Moria and just bring a friend Dofi. Or even just bring like a Moria and then like Dofi, Moria, super type. Like, it's just so cool being able to like wave clear here. You do get five turns of despair, five turns of special one, which is very, very annoying. But, and a full board unfavorable slot. So you can use Caesar here. Caesar removes the despair. Super nice. He gets around that chain lock as well. And then literally you can just use Dofi. As I mentioned though, Cracker's a free to play character. So you can probably slide him in on another team. Um, but like, Dofi actually just kills. Like, I don't know what else to say. 
Dofi's a weapon. I freaking love that Dofi, man. So, cool. Dofi kills. We had another Dofi special too, so I wonder how long that'll last for. But as I said, you have Olin as well. Uh, bring a friend Dofi though, because then you can do stuff like that. If you need Dofi friends, my uh, my friend code's in my info. Alright, let's move on to Sanji and Zoro, the final mini boss. And the final mini boss, the recommended character is Katakuri, the free-to-play Donjin Jiao, and the Hody. Now, if you don't have the Hody, uh, understandably so, because like, those banners, they're kind of like, they're like interesting bait banners, right? Like, super class is like a thing, and they're like, oh, look at this super class, there was something for super class, but... In all in all, like, these characters, as good as they are, like, as good as the Dofi is, the, like, the Katakuri is kind of mid, but, um, most people probably skip the banner. I know you get powerhouse characters boosted. Uh, I think maybe, like, fighters here as well. Um, but I think that's it. It's powerhouse and two other classes. Check out the playthrough video, the, the prep video, if you guys want to check that out. But we do have Luchi on this team. If you don't have Katakuri, just bring Luchi as a, as a captain. If you don't have Luchi as a captain, just, I don't know, use the Dungeon Jow, I guess. Like, he should be fine. I don't know what he does, but, like, whatever. Brook. Brook's literally just here as a placeholder. Replace Brook with whoever you want. Uh, as I mentioned, um, Hody is basically just here for the bind removal. So you can use Hody to get around that. He is an attack booster as well, which is great because Katakuri is an orb booster. If you don't have Katakuri yourself, then obviously you can do that. Um, there is normal attacks only, which is pretty funny for treasure map. There's not normally normal attacks only. Donjin Jiao is going to give us a chain buff as well as, um, what's it called? Remove the paralysis. And then Bob's your uncle, Hunky Dory. See you later. We can take out uh, Sanji and Zoro there. No issues whatsoever. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So that was Zoro and Sanji. This treasure map is super cruisy compared to global. Like super cruisy. The shenanigans on the global one right now, it's just so much worse than this. This is actually enjoyable. Like, actually enjoyable. I like it. It's not like something that I'm liking, but it's treasure map, you know. Just came off four days playing treasure map. But well, let's move on to Luffy. On to Luffy now. Mr. Nightmare Luffy. Obviously, the boosted characters are the new batch of Croc, Enel, and Luchi. Once again, if you guys don't have Croc, if you didn't do any summons to Croc because it's a treasure map banner and treasure map banners are usually pretty dookie, then uh, use the treasure map Robin, the Halloween Robin from the previous treasure map. She's a 1.4 booster. She's a cerebral-based captain as well. And then you can bring a friend Croc. If you did do some summons and you picked up Luchi and Enel, be very, very happy. You can also build a team around Koala if you need to as well. Koala gets around special reverse. So if you don't want to bring a friend Croc for whatever reason, but you can because Croc is a uh, dex unit so, and Koala boosts that. Koala boosts fighter characters as well. So if you have Koala, you can still use the Robin on the team as well, which is actually really, really nice. Um, and you will be in good stead there. Once we hit stage two, though, we come up against Brook. And this is where I think we need the Rob Lucci special to remove attack down. Now, if you guys don't... Uh, no. Okay, we get the chain coefficient reduction. Honestly, the chain coefficient reduction doesn't mean anything because we're going to use the croc special. You do want to save the croc special on the previous on, for the final turn if you're not bringing your own croc, though. Because I do know you get special reversed. So if you're not using Koala as your captain, just be mindful of that as uh, Luffy will roll your specials back. On this Luffy stage, uh, we get yeah the special reverse and we get the attack down here. Now, the Onigashima Luffy is a really good shout if you guys aren't uh, using uh, something like the uh, Enel and the Luchi. The Onigashima Luffy can actually give you uh, an attack boost and remove the attack down. Uh, I'm pretty sure, um, yeah, Enel's going to remove the threshold. So if you are bringing Koala, you're just going to have to find a way to actually just get that um, to get that threshold removal. I'm sure there's someone on the list. Um, just have to be go through it a little bit better with a fine comb than, comb than I did. Uh, but as long as you can remove the threshold, you can bring that Luffy to get around the attack down. Koala's a great alternative as a captain. Uh, hell, you can even run like, like the... The Luchi, if you're not using him for the other team as the captain. Uh, or you can use the Treasure Map Robin. She's another really, really good option for you guys too. But that's going to wrap up the playthrough video. Nice and fast, this one. Uh, nothing too much to talk about in terms of what's going on. Just to sort of show you guys what's going on. Um, hopefully, you guys have built your teams. And hopefully, you guys are ready for this Treasure Map. As uh, the 7.5... Wow, that's a lot of points. Uh, the 7.5 anniversary ha is in full swing. And it is pretty much coming to a close after this treasure map and the Kazuna. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go down there and belt that like button for me. If you are new to the channel too, hit that big red subscribe button. But guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, I thank you all for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's!